Okay, okay, settle the f down, you little. Chill out, you absolute monsters. Wretches. Okay, um, I think it's always good when emotions are very high and people are fighting back and forth is just to uh, reset the perspective a little bit. I've always said for the amount of uh, scrapping that we do with left-wingers online, I've, I feel like I've been ahead of the curve now. Everyone does it, but I've been doing it for like a year. Um, I will say that um, for all the fighting that goes on and all the horrible takes and all that is, I would always keep this like principle locked in your skull, okay? Is that ne never, never let the rancid behavior of people who, um, are aligned with you or appear aligned with you or appear aligned with your cause. Never let that behavior change your your positions, your policy stances, your philosophical foundations. Don't never let that happen. Okay. As much as it's tempting sometimes to, uh, get into a team sports mentality to spite the other people who are against you. Right. Um, and I say that, how many people because did he murder? <laughs> we have been scrapping pretty hard with the left wing takes on this. I've just put a video about uh, part of it. Um, I don't also want to forget that there's also <laughs> this going on on the other side of a lot of especially especially Israelis who um, have typically held quite even who have often held quite uh, sensitive and uh, empathetic stances towards the Palestinian cause, even quite like quite far left Israelis, suddenly flipping their tunes. Um, it's understandable because a lot of them have family in trouble. A lot of, a lot of them uh, know someone who has been uh, hiding, who have had to be in hiding, or like I've heard someone saying that one of their friend's brothers was hiding behind a like a dumpster whilst people in the dumpsters next to theirs got like pulled out and like kidnapped and shit. So, um, I understand the emotional response, but you don't like, don't be this guy, right? Level Gaza. I don't care who's in there. Um, the, at the end of the day, the people of Hamas murdering fucking, uh, civilians. And as it turns out, babies now as well. Um, when free Palestine to them means free all of historic Palestine from all the Jews, whether that means purging them or killing them. They don't care. Um, again, the stances have not changed. You know, I'm, I'm not any less pro Palestinians than I was four days ago. Um, I still think the settlements need to pull back. I still think there are, there are humanitarian outrage that they, that they keep on expanding and that the current ones exist. I think it's an outrage that Gaza is in the conditions that they are, that Israel has um, such brutish control over their food supplies, their water supplies, their sewage systems. Like the fact that um, a, a lot of the responses from the IDF uh, are quite uh, shit when it comes to protecting civilians and things like that. Uh, I think the blockade is an outrage. I think the wall is not like all of these things are still true. Um, as much as it seems very unlikely that any of it's going to change anytime soon. Uh, I still think that Palestinians deserve statehood. I still think, uh, I still think the, uh, right of return needs to get at the very least recognized. I think the Nakba needs to get recognized by the Israeli state as what it was an ethnic cleansing. Uh, I think people who can't get uh, rep uh, who can't get restitution deserve at least rep reparations. I believe in all these things. Obviously, I believe Hamas needs to go. <laughs> um, I believe Netanyahu needs to go, and all those right wing psychos in his government as well. Um, people would sometimes tell me that I waste too much energy fighting with left wingers. Uh, the reason I do it is because. The reason I do it is because we have I have more audience overlap. It's actually very important to police your own side. It's actually a really important thing to do. Protesters do it all the time. Activist groups do it all the time. They do. They uh, if this, if someone comes into an activist group and starts recommending ridiculous shit like uh, let's go let's go start a riot, let's go break shit, let's go fight the cops. Uh, usually, the rest of the protest or the rest of the movement will be like, "No, you fucking moron! We're here to actually achieve something, uh, not to 
fucking play not to like fucking LARP, okay? As Cuban revolutionaries or whatever the fuck. Um so I think it does matter, even though there is a cost. Um, I lose audience members when I do it. I tend I often lose subscribers when I've done it in the past, but it should still hold your position. And if the, if it can take some people away, I think that's good. If it can sow some seeds of doubt, I think that's good. And it's just worth also, if we're putting an impression over to liberals or conservatives, it's worth showing them as well that not everyone on the left is like them, you know, not everyone on the left is like what we're ab about to look at. Okay, so this is um, Second Thought, who we've been covering quite a bit recently, because he just doesn't stop giving. Um, why Israeli captives are not civilians? How are music festival attendees not civilians? He calls them criminals. Okay, let's see. And I was also very much. He says, did the Palestinians actually take civilian hostage? That is awfully quiet. Let's go, Hakim. Hostage, or is that? And I was also very much. He says, did the Palestinians actually take civilian hostage, or is that fake news? Um, I the, don't care. Yeah, the <laughs> occupiers I don't, are I do, not uh, civilians. That is that is what it comes yeah. down to. Like if imagine, French, yeah. like if if Sorry, uh, Germany, you know, let's say Germany to, mm -hmm. to be non-controversial, invaded the United States, and they they said, you know what, Cincinnati, Ohio, is our ancestral home, and you know everyone knows mm. that's blatantly false. It's funny that he said Germany. Um, I th I'm starting to think. If people start using Nazi Germany as an analogy for Israel, with that l so deliberately like that, and so frequently as a lot of people do, um, when people do that, I think 98% of the time, it's because they're retarded. 1% of the time is because they know full well what they're doing and they're trying to get under the skin of Jewish people. That was that was ninety eight plus one percent. The other one percent is that you're Vosh. <laughs> yeah, he just likes doing that, I guess. Um, so I don't know. I just don't. It's just not. It's not um, analogous. It's not a good analogy. It's incredibly poor communication, especially to Jews. Um, yeah, I just don't. I don't like it. Okay, so what is it? Germans. Germans colonize uh, Cincinnati. Okay, let's see. Ohio is our ancestral home. And, you know, everyone knows mm. that's blatantly false. But they, they take your home, they murder your grandma, they bulldoze, like, your neighbor's house. Are those people mm. civilians there? No, they're occupiers. And those, those are criminals. Yeah. That, that is, there are no mm. civilians there in the illegal military occupation. Yeah. So that's number one, um, very beautifully put. Number two, uh, much more importantly, uh... <laughs> beautifully put. So what did? He, how many things did he say there? Um, he said that the German analogy is that they're saying it's their ancestral homeland, which is blatantly not. Uh, is that? I know there is an anti-Semitic uh, counter history that says Ashkenazi Jews never had any connection to uh, the land of Israel, like none. They're not connected to the Israelites. They're actually like fucking um, Khazars or some shit, like Turkic people, right? Yeah, that's 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 false. That's an anti-Semitic alternate history. Uh, that's completely false. Um, if you go way far back enough, that land was a Jewish kingdom. But again, I wouldn't say that that because I am not a dipshit. Like I don't think people have an innate right to land. I don't think that's a thing. I think people have human rights. I think tenants have rights. I think people who live in a certain place have rights not to get evicted and shit like that. Um, I believe if you own a house, you have a level of property rights, but I don't think you have um, a right to go and seize land because uh, like 20 generations ago, someone that, you know, some, your ancestor was kicked off of there. I don't believe that. I believe there's a stat, there's, but again, they're occupiers. Do you see how the, the sleight of hand that they do? It's every time. It's like, they say, let's say someone came there, killed people, and then shipped them off. That's what they say. And I'm thinking, did the people in the festival do that? No. Did the fucking babies that we've seen uh, were found dead in one of those villages, did they do that? No. But why lump them in unless you're essentializing them based on what? Like a nationality? An ethnicity? 
And I just love it that it's second thought of all the cunts saying this, right? Because I just love how with that logic, he has basically just given carte blanche to a Native American. Because you know who else is an occupier? Second thought's an occupier. By that logic, he's an occupier. He didn't kill any Native Americans. He didn't spread any disease. He didn't pull them in um, conditions so... Uh, so uh, subpar that they actually got killed. But he's basically just given carte blanche to a Native American to go and get some fucking guns, turn up to his house, um, fucking rape him, strip him, and then parade his mutilated, defiled body through the fucking streets, probably in one of those cringe fucking supercars that he reviews in his second channel. He's given carte blanche to do that, right? And apparently, that's what liberation struggle looks like. That's actually a thing that we celebrate and we encourage because apparently it's criminal. If you, again, if you believe that, then why the fuck don't you just decolonize yourself? You can do it. You have the resources. Um, I don't... And the thing is, with the history, you, you can buy all the history. Like, you can buy the fact that, his, that Israel was founded on very um, brutal terms. Not even in 1948. Before 1948, when uh, Jewish people were, buy, when uh, Zionists were buying up land from the British Empire, it wasn't just a standard transfer of land for money. It was, a lot of it was tenant farmers Palestinian tenant farmers who lived in a house and then when that land was bought up they didn't have a say in that and then they were moved out so that kind of um force was being exerted even before 1948 and then obviously there was 48 where 750,000 Palestinians fled uh the area because they were either forced out or because there were massacres in the villages next to them uh that all happened and then 67 with the occupation there were even more refugees created there's still evictions to this day but again if this logic is that um if we go back with this uh you can say that's how that's how israelis got the land we know that the palestinians were there before them because they tended to have like uh tenancy or land titles from the ottoman empire okay how did the ottoman empire get the land was that a socially acceptable transfer of land and resources no how did the people before get before them get the land how are people in the middle east like how are how are these countries like all muslim right because the original muslims were conquerors right um so you can do this you can play this uh history game all you want and you can just set different arbitrary standards for where the rights are my personal opinion is that there are people who are alive now and they have rights. There are descendants of Palestinian refugees from 48 who are still refugees. Their refugee crisis has never been solved. The Israeli state, not people in a festival, not babies, the state has a form of responsibility for that. And those rights should be respected in whatever way is like, uh, can be negotiated between the two groups. But I just, you, you excuse so much. Like, would these people really be okay with all their fucking uh, shit takes on Ukraine? Do you think these guys would be okay if they just started arming to the teeth the fucking Crimean Tatars and then they just went door to door slaughtering every Russian civilian who, uh, whose ancestry traces back to them being there, what, like for, since 2014? Since 1944 when Stalin deported the Tatars and then they were replaced by uh, ethnic Russians back to eight, the 1840s uh, with the Russian Empire? No, they wouldn't, th they wouldn't think that was okay. No. Would it be okay if, okay, let's say Palestinians do get to remove uh, Israelis from the land. You know that um, even if you can say there was six, I think Israel was 6% Jewish uh, at the time of the British mandate. Where did those Jews come from? Well, they, a lot of them were traceable back to the, uh, they would have been traceable back to the old kingdom. Why didn't they get indigenous rights over all the over the whole land that their that their people were kicked out of? Um, why don't it, why is it bad? It is bad. That, but but why, according to these guys, why is it bad that um, Israelis reclaim houses in East Jerusalem that were cleared out by the Jordanians in 1948? Because that happened as well. And under Israeli law, they have a law that they can do that. They can reclaim land from 48. Obviously, Palestinians can't do it the other way around because that kind of behavior, and as we see it play out is outrageous.
It's outrageous that Palestinians in East Jerusalem face eviction because of the crimes of what? Not even their ancestors, just other members of their ethnic group from a different time. Would Mizrahi Jews be able to go back to Yemen or fucking Iraq or Algeria and throw off whoever was on land that used to be lived on by Jews before the pogroms, before the Jewish exodus? No. And none of these dipshits would stand for it either. The reason they stand for it with regards to Israel is because they have one principle, and it's that America bad. And America supports Israel, therefore Israel bad, and everyone in Israel, uh, fuck them. Like, and this is, this is the fucking peak of communist discourse on the internet. And again, I'm just quite, it's, it's almost a good thing that these guys, like, if you are pro-Israel, right, if you're like a liberal, you fucking adore these guys because it's these guys that make the left fucking impos impossible for the left to get power. And they don't want the left to get power because if their faction of leftism got power in the United States, um, they, these guys have a 50-50 chance of getting executed by other revolutionaries, okay? For the amount of fucking retarded shit that they say, they would just end up in a show trial with some other crazy fucking psycho communist, like showing them uh, seven, like a seven second clip chimp uh, that they said in 2014, and then they get fucking their heads chopped off, right? Or shot. I don't know how they do, how they would, what their preferred method is. Um, it's not even to mention, like, you know, fun fact, fun fact about the Soviet Union. Uh, you know that when the German KPD fled, uh, the Nazis into Russia, the Russians were so paranoid about uh, foreigners at that time because of Stalin and shit um, and domestic instabilities, a lot of more and shit. Um, there were more members of the Politburo of the German Communist Party that were killed by Stalin in the purges than were killed by the Gestapo and the Nazis. If you were a member of the Politburo of the Communist Party in Germany, you had a better chance surviving <laughs> statistically under the Nazis than you did under Stalin. And then look what happens, though. Look what happens the day that Hamas did this. I didn't even know this. I didn't know that support for Palestinians was so high compared to Israelis um, amongst British people until, like, what, just two days ago. And it flips. And this kind of rhetoric, not only are these the most ineffective cunts on the internet when it comes to actually furthering their cause, I think even once there was that stream with Hassan where they asked about political action and shit, because I think Yugopnik, who is probably, who seems to be the only person in this group with like an IQ higher than the fucking pH level of his like internal organs, like he um, asked them, are we not just like, how do we avoid just placating people's revolutionary impulses with entertainment so they don't actually do anything. And you know what they did? They all just went in a circle and fucking patted each other in the back, on the back for uh, not having to do anything, for just being entertainers. Just congratulated each other for their own hedonistic fucking uh, bourgeois decadent lifestyles. <laughs> And you know what else? And what else they do? That like, the rhetoric does have impact, though. You can say, "Well, we advocate." That has an impact. Um, their rhetoric actually um, disorientates and fractures left-wing movements. I don't know if you guys know. Maybe I can find this story. But um, the DSA, there was a DSA chapter that faced a split a few months ago because. One of them put out a statement, a tweet, saying that um, Israelis are not civilians. And that actually caused a DSA chapter to split over it. Where was it? Oh yeah, here. DSA Palestine recently sparked controversy by claiming about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict that one could, brackets and should, very well argue that in a settler colonial context, there are no such thing as civilians. And by endorsing a right of resistance in all forms, it, it, yeah, like... It's not even, what is it for? Even if you want to take everything at their terms, would you not just ask them, like, what does this achieve? What does it achieve to go around slaughtering civilians? What did it achieve to kill babies in a fucking village? What did it achieve to go into a festival? Not try and find military targets, try and find infrastructure, which you could make a very good argument for. People do have a right to resist occupation. I believe that. They have a right to resist violently. I believe that. What right do they have? And on what terms can they say that they go into a fucking festival 
and kill a bunch of hippies and parade their fucking defiled corpses around the streets of Gaza. I don't know. I, I just don't think there's much uh, justification for it. You know, it's just a hot take. You know, I just think killing civilians, because they are civilians, is bad. You know what else? I wa we were wondering what an old, uh, an old friend of the show might say, who I haven't heard much from recently. Um, he's probably having a complete fucking uh, intergalactic manic episode. Uh, but... I wonder what our uh, fascist fajita would have said about children dying in Israel. Is it acceptable to do so if there are babies and children on the bus? If the colonizer puts children into occupied territory, they are responsible for their fate. Oh, well, well done. Thank you so much for making my job so much easier that I don't have to worry about these guys ever getting their dog shit fucking psychotic ideology into the fucking corridors of power ever because no one will ever buy this no one will ever let you do this like it fucking oh well good thank you so much yeah. fucking batshit burrito yeah anyway um the track record of palestinians has been a thousand times better than that of mm -hmm. the israeli occupation despite the fact that israeli op occupation does not need to brutalize they already have all the power yeah um but they still choose to do far 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 far, far worse um the worst that will happen to a person in palestinian custody is that they're going to be uh, um like auctioned off for a prisoner swap mm -hmm. which is the historic track record also yeah um <laughs> <laughs> that one aged pretty badly. Wait, he said this after uh, people had been killed, right? He said that after captured people had been killed. Um, but haven't Hamas said that they were going to kill people? They were going to kill hostages and broadcast it? Wow. I don't know. Maybe they're just low information. Maybe they are just actually like low information actors. Like maybe they're just really fucking retarded. I don't know. Al Jazeera, uh, Hamas says we'll kill hostages if Israeli attacks on Gaza, civilians continue. Oh god, I worry so much. Gaza's just gonna Gaza doesn't, oh no, I just don't like the thought of it. Oh, there's people just stuck in that fucking slum with nowhere to go out of. Ugh. But I mean, that take aged pretty badly. The worst that can happen is they'll get traded for. You have to. He he must not know. He must not have seen the videos that Hamas have posted themselves. Hamas are posting videos themselves of piled up fucking corpses and dead bodies and shit. Oh well. Yeah. I just what I want to see though. What I want to. I'm gonna say. I'll say it again. I'll say it again. What I want to see is the 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 fucking leftover podcast. The leftover podcast where they, where because Ethan knows that Second Thought is a friend of the Second Thought. Also, much he says, did the Palestinians actually take civilian hostage? Or is he knows that. Can you imagine Ethan bringing that up? Bringing this up. Can you imagine that the podcast and Hassan trying to keep both parties happy? Like Ethan <laughs> people, did he leaning over his desk, like. <laughs> Look at this piece of shit, this generous, second, uh, second thought. How many people did he murder? <laughs> Talking about how they're, they're, all, they're all criminal Force occupiers, genocidal criminal wrong. occupiers. Bro, they're killing fucking babies, dude. And he's saying they're occupiers, they're killing fucking babies, dude. And the sign just like... Yeah, uh... Yeah, uh, second thought, he comes from a, uh... uh Marxist Leninist perspective, and uh, they have a very uh, settler colonialist. Le They're killing fucking babies, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I have to really consider uh, the that uh, summary execution of babies, uh, decapitations, language of the unheard, and uh, open air prison, and uh, <laughs> that's the. Oh, don't forget the material conditions, guys. Sorry, I forgot about the material conditions. Um, actually, I, I uh, renounce everything I said, and these guys are fucking...
based. All right. 